Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your mid-December quick read. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I am an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks on top of crystal organite pucks. In doing so, it charges balances and aligns the energy for your reading. I also meditate over the collective energy. So again, this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well. So the way I'm going to do the quick reads from this point on is I'm going to use the Major Arcana for your sign. So for Cancer, we will be doing Chariot. So let me give you an example of how we're going to do this. Let's see. Let's find us a Major Arcana. Okay. So you have Major Arcana right here. So this is a major icon for Aries and also Aquarius. So the way that we would do this is the very first card that's in front of it is the energy attached to what we are meant to read for you today. You get what I'm saying? And the second card, okay? Well, I also some <laughs> Aquarius and um, Aries have some stuff going on. So say, for instance, I'm going to read for Aquarius or Aries, Seven of Swords, and the King of Swords would be their energy. You guys get where I'm going with this? Okay? So for your general energy deck, as always, the decks are completely upright. There's no reversals. So this will be upright. For your clarifying deck, which is also completely upright, okay, there will be reversals. I will shuffle it in ways that there could possibly be reversals, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. Let's find your chariot. I'm just going to go through the cards until I find a chariot. And whatever card is in front and behind it, that is the energy that there. Look, you guys popped up quickly. That is the energy that we're going to read. So the card directly in front of you guys is the six of wands directly behind it is major arcana the devil and it has to do with family for a lot of you all mm, okay so you have the devil some of you guys could be dealing with a capricorn sun moon rising venus or a um leo sag aries sun moon rising venus now here's the thing and i didn't say this earlier when i was meditating over the energy the song that i heard was come close by common and featuring mary j blige I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. The message that I picked up with that is two things, okay? Come close. I feel like blessings are closer than you can even recognize or even expect, okay? And then also as far as love, it's like somebody wants to come close towards you. Somebody wants to have a victory with you. You have you on your horse already and then you have someone coming towards you. But here's the interesting thing. This person's back is facing you, and then you're sandwiched right in between the Six of Wands and the Devil. So I feel like there's a lot of temptation in this situation. For some of you guys, you're deciding to choose someone who you know isn't good for you. You want to have victory with someone that you know is not good for you, okay? And also for some of you guys, because the Devil card, that's major icon for Capricorn, okay? Something as far as your work life may be a little toxic or it may be a little draining or exhausting, but I do feel like there will be success. And I feel like the success is going to come quicker than you expect is what I'm picking up with that. Okay, so let's see what we get as far as clarifiers for the Six of Wands and the Devil. Also with the Devil, like I said, this is Capricorn. December or January, because that's Capricorn season, you have some type of success some type of, I'm here because, you know, with the Six of Wands, that's someone who's being put up on a pedestal, someone who's being celebrated. Some of you all could be getting a raise in Capricorn season because, yeah, because you have that pinnacle right in the center. Two other people could have been vying for the position that you wanted. Also, you could feel like you've been working like a slave and it's like, okay, finally. Also, be mindful, okay, if you have been working so hard to get this promotion, to get acknowledged for your skill set or the hard work that you put in, they're telling you to be mindful not to have this type of tunnel vision because it could be exhausting overall to your health. Because keep in mind, pentacles, that's the physical body as well. So I am getting that message also. So let's sort of clarify for the six of wands and the devil. As a part of the deck, look what you got here. Absolutely. Some of you guys are getting ready to um, connect with a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. And also you may be finally getting that position that you want because you know a king and a queen is a person who's in a position of power and leadership and this could be what you've been working towards for a while because you have cups that's you nine of cups that's getting everything that you want 
your wishes coming true. Just seen a tower card, so this could be coming out of the blue. Because the tower card is not always negative. It could be, yep, yeah, but I say it's not always negative. It could have been something that you is it's unexpected that you weren't prepared for. Tower card reverse, that's Aries, also Scorpio, and then you have the Six of Swords. So if some of you all were thinking about, because this could be a workplace because it's a tower. So if some of you all were um, thinking about moving away from a, a position as far as home, I mean, and I said home and I meant to say as far as work. Okay, so this is going to talk about your love life and your place of employment. So if some of you all were thinking about leaving this place of employment, you may be sticking in there just a little bit longer. You could have been working there for six months, six years. Also, you could be a June Cancer. Okay, and also as far as your relationship, if you separated from someone, remember we kept getting this fire energy. Leo says Aries here, and then I'm paying attention to this red on his cape. If you separated from a fire sign, I feel like you're going to be returning. You may have a child with this individual. You have a woman here and a child. Male or female doesn't matter. You may have a child with this individual. Yep, there was some type of separation. Some type of secrets were exposed. You could have been dealing with someone whose first, middle, or last initial was B, T, J, C, or U. You also could be working for an establishment with those initials in it. Because we have two major accounts back to back. So, yeah, somebody found out some truth about a situation. If you were overlooked for some type of raise or increase, you're finding out why. And it's been hidden for you for a while. And if it was in regards to love, yeah, secrets, and there was some type of temptation, with your love interest is what I'm picking up. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So let's get a clarify for the six of wands and the devil. Bottom of the deck, yep. There's some secrets currently. And you're going to get ready to find out. Okay. Let's get a clarify for the six of wands for cancer, summon, rise, and Venus individuals. Yep. You see how those cards don't want to flip it? Okay. And this one flipped down. Yep. Five of Pentacles. So some of you all are thinking about leaving the position because you feel like you're working hard and they're not acknowledging your, um, they're not acknowledging you. But here's the thing. And I definitely feel like this has to do with your work life. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Capricorn specifically. If you're dealing with a Capricorn and you walked away from this person, this person's coming back in trying to chase up behind you. Also, they could be doing it if you're dealing with Capricorn. They could be doing this during Capricorn season around their birthday because they're going to, they're reminiscing about the times that you all celebrated together. Also, as far as a place of employment, if a manager or a boss or someone like that promises you some type of increase or some type of raise and you just put in your um, two week notice or something like that. This person, they're going to come and chase up behind you and tell you that they don't want you to go anywhere. Because, this, you know, this gives me energy that you have history with this, this place of employment. You know, you could have been there for five plus years. There's going to be victory. Okay. Because you have the six of wands being clarified by the five of pentacles. So it's like, I feel like you, honestly, what I'm getting is just like this chariot. You're going to have victory once you move away from this place. But I feel like if when you put in a two weeks notice for some of you all, I feel like they're going to try to come chasing up behind you. But I don't know if you can trust them. They're going to promise you some type of position, some type of raise or increase. And then if you're dealing with a love person, you know, a love situation, I do feel like they're going to be chasing up behind you also. Telling you that they want some type of victory is what I'm picking up with that also. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like if you're dealing with a Earth, mm -hmm. if you're dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, as far as dating, it's like this person's chasing up behind you, but it's like their motive is shady. Also, as far as your place of employment, right? They may not be offering you this this big thing that you want, like some increase, some type of change in status. They're not really being truthful with you. I'm picking up. Mm. And it's interesting because the song that I heard was come close. And you see how you, you know how they show people being hypnotized. Look at his eyes. It's like this person is, I'm hearing a word Smith, like this person. Mm, yeah. Cause on the side of them, you see how these people are bound. They're like chained right next to him, you know? So it's like this person is, has this 
way of kind of getting you to see things their way, like hypnosis. Like they have this very good way with words. I just said a way with words, Ace of Swords. And I literally, you know, but then you have the Five of Cups. This is your energy. So it's like whatever it is that they're offering you, they're not being truthful. Also, as far as love, they're not being truthful. And you're going to find out. You're going to find out. Okay, because you have the devil card being clarified by the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, victory. You have two cards of victory here. So I feel like whatever it is, someone can be as shady as they want to. You're going to be victorious in a situation. They won't. You will. Because I feel like you're either cutting someone out or cutting this or walking away from a situation. Cutting yourself out of a situation is what I'm picking up. Yeah, Cancer, you guys are getting ready to either walk away from someone or you're going to find out a truth about someone's deception because again it's the card of deception you're going to find out the truth about someone's deceptions and it's going to allow you to make decisions in a way that will allow you to move forward to your own personal victory you're going to be victorious in this situation regardless of what they do because you started off with the six of wands so you're going to be victorious either way, regardless of what the situation is. Okay? So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.